Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Brother James Benedict. I greet you once again in the most wonderful and joyful name of Jesus Christ. A very good morning once again. I have shared uh, many a times in several groups and uh, quite often that faith alone cannot perform miracles. Well, the word of God says in James 2.17, faith without works is dead. Millions of words have been written about success, but if these millions of words could be privatized and squeezed out in just, just three short meaningful words, it could be read, faith and gumption. God has given every human being a brain and good health. But we can see a lot of young people before they could realize they have failed. Simply because they lack gumption, the firepower and the willpower to succeed. And they unfortunately not only lose precious time but opportunities, lost opportunities. As we know, opportunities are like sunrise. They are like the passing clouds. There are a lot of people who are not gifted at all and with poor physical health too, but yet they rose to the highest pinnacle of success than those who have more brains and stronger physical bodies. The simple truth is, in addition to faith in God, they had gumption, the willpower and the discipline and hard work to succeed. A short and a true story. There was a family who had a son and a daughter. Son was 17 years old and the sister was a bit younger to him. Son was brilliant and genius unlike the daughter. He was a topper in the school and in the university, but as he grew up he lacked gumption and the willpower to come up and settle in an ordinary job. Daughter asked mother why his son does not work hard but always sits in a comfortable chair, resting and resting and resting. Mother's spoiled love supports the son and says, Now your brother is 30 years plus. He had an appendix operation when he was 15 years. Of course, he was healthy and did not feel sick ever since then, and not even a single day. But, that's but sometimes becomes unfortunately the spoiled love of a mother. Whereas this girl who just has an average brain had a great ambition to serve the Lord. She gave her life to Christ when she was a teenager. She had the passion to serve Christ, fire power, will power and discipline to work hard. She disciplined herself and worked approximately 18 hours a day and she became no doubt uh, one of the top world renowned and richest evangelist. Her name is Catherine Coleman. In one of her crusades, then uh, the young brother Benihim was blessed and consecrated. Whether we work full time or a secular job, in order to be successful, faith and gumption we need to carry together. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, whether we are in secular job or in the ministry, help us Lord to put our not only our faith in you, but also help us to Lord to be industrious and sincere and disciplined in whatever we do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you.